Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video, we will learn how to connect or access an EC2 instance in case you lost your private key or the .pem file or you accidentally deleted the file permanently. What will we do in this video? We will create a new EC2 Linux instance named dev-stage-old with a key pair. Then we will access the EC2 instance using the key pair. Next, we will delete the key pair. After that, we won't have the key pair to access the EC2 instance. Again, we will create a new EC2 instance named dev-stage-new with a new key pair. And then we will perform our lab task to access the old EC2 instance which key pair is already lost or deleted permanently. So let's begin. Log in to your AWS management console and then go to the EC2 dashboard. Here I don't have any running instance now. Let's launch an instance, uh, Saint OS 7 Linux and select the free tier one. Click on continue. Leaving the instance type to t2.micro, free tier eligible selected, click on next. Here select your VPC, subnet. I choose the public subnet which I created while creating the VPC. This is a public facing subnet. In your case, you can choose the default subnet or any other subnet that you want to attach to the EC2. Let's enable auto assign public IP so that the EC2 instance can be accessed publicly. That is from the internet. Then go to the add storage section. Since this is just a demo video, I'm not going to change the size and type of the storage and the device. So let's move on to the next section. Here let's add a tag so that the instance can be recognized easily. Then move on to the next section, configure security group. If you want to create a new security group for this instance, you can create one or you can use the default security group. In my case, I want to use the existing security group which I have customized a bit according to my need. Finally, review and launch the instance. Here we need to create a new key pair and let's give a name to the key pair file. Next, download the key pair and store it in a location of your computer. Then launch the instance. Up until now, we have just uh, launched an EC2 instance of Linux type. It's not mandatory that you follow all my steps. Let's clear out the filters. Here we can see the newly created instance, dev stis old among others. But the instance is still on the initializing stage. In the meantime, let's open the Linux shell. I'm going to use the git bash. Since I'm using the Windows operating system, it is very easy tool to access the Linux systems. I have stored the key file in my computer's G drive, AWS folder and aws credits folder. So I need to switch uh, from my current directory to the location where the key pair file is stored. Then we need to run this command to ensure your key is not publicly viewable. Next, let's try to connect to the instance. Keeping the dev stage old instance selected, click on the connect button. Here on the SSS client tab, we get information about how we can connect to the AWS instance via SSS. We can just copy this example and paste it, uh, it to the git bash or your Linux shell. Type S to continue connecting to the host. Here we go. We are now connected to the AWS EC2 instance. Next, let's log in as the root user and create a directory and some files in it just to verify that we get access to them when we recover the lost key pair. Then press Ctrl D, Ctrl D to log out as the root user and to log out from the EC2 instance respectively. Now let's delete the key pair. That means we are losing this key pair which we are using to access the EC2 instance. After losing the key, we are sure that we can't connect to the EC2 instance anymore. Next, let's work to access or to connect to the EC2 instance whose key pair is already lost. 
Let's go back to the AWS Management Console and create a new EC2 instance of Saint OS in the same region as the old EC2 instance. Please follow the same steps as to create a new instance as we did to create the old EC2 instance. But you can customize the disk size. Uh, let's increase the default size from 8 GB to 9 GB so that it will be easier for us to identify between the old and the new disks. We will delete everything of the new instance once we are done with our task. Also specify the key value as something easy to recognize or something distinct with the old instance. Then review and launch. Now we need to create a new key pair because we have already lost the existing one. So select create a new key pair, give a name to the key pair and download it on a location. Then launch the instance. The instance may take some time to get ready. Let's move on and stop the dev stage dash old instance so that we can detach or attach the instances. Next, what we need to do is uh, detach the volume of the old instance and attach it to the new instance. But before that, let's access the new instance via SSS. I go to the git bash, change the permission of the key file and paste the command to SSS to the system. Type S and hit enter. We are logged into the EC2 instance. Now let's go back to the AWS management console. Make sure what we call the old instance state is stopped and go to elastic block store section. Here click on the volumes. Select the dev state old volume. Click on actions and click on detach volume. Now the volume is detached and is scrolling towards the right. We can see the volume is not attached to any instances. We are going to attach this storage volume to the new instance. So for that, let's click on the instances. Select the new instance, click on the instance state and click on the stop instance. Then go to volumes. Select the dev states dash old volume Click on Actions and click on Attach Volume. Click on this drop down box and select the new instance. Here, don't confuse that we are attaching the old volume to the new instance. At this time, both the volumes are attached to the new instance. Now go to Instances section and start the new instance. Wait for a while until the new instance boots up and gets ready. Then access the new instance via the SSH. Let's log in as the root user. And if we run the lsblk command, we can see one more disk named xbdf with its partition xbdf1. This is the old volume. Next, we will mount the volume in the new volume in the new instance and copy the authorized keys from the old volume to the new. If we check the file type of all the disks with the lsblk space hyphen fp command, we can see the file types of, of both the disk is xfs. We are going to mount the old volume to the slash mnt directory. If we list the contents of the slash mnt directory, we don't see anything here. Let's mount the slash dev slash xpdf1 and check back. Type mount space hyphen o space rw comma no uuid space slash deb slash xpdf1 space slash mnt the mount point directory. Now if we run ls space slash mnt we can see the contents of the old volume in the directory of the new instances volume in the slash mnt directory. Next uh, let's copy the authorized underscore keys from the new instance volume to the newly mounted volume or the old volume.
प्लीज इग्नोर इफ यू सी एनी मैसेज लाइक लाइक दिस ऑन द स्क्रीन इफ यू डोंट सी एनी मैसेज दैट्स फाइन टू द कीज आर ऑलरेडी कॉपीड टू द डेस्टिनेशन सो लेट्स ऑन माउंट द डिस्क देन गो बैक टू द इंस्टेंस सेक्शन इन द ए डब्ल्यू एस मैनेजमेंट कॉन्सोल सेलेक्ट द न्यू इंस्टेंस एंड स्टॉप द इंस्टेंस गो टू वॉल्यूम्स सेक्शन सेलेक्ट द ओल्ड वॉल्यूम एंड डिटैच इट फ्रॉम द न्यू इंस्टेंस देन सेलेक्टिंग द सेम वॉल्यूम अटैच इट टू द ओल्ड और इट्स ओरिजिनल इंस्टेंस बट वाइल अटैचिंग द वॉल्यूम बी केयरफुल टू चेंज द डिवाइस नेम एज स्लैश डेब स्लैश एस डी ए वन फ्रॉम व्हाट यू आर डिस्प्लेड ऑन द बॉक्स otherwise it will not work now we are all done we can simply stop the new instance because we can now access the old instance using the new key to verify let's copy the public ip address of the old instance go to the git bash or your linux or your mac shell and SSH to the old instance using the new key pair. Here we go. We are now logged into the old instance using the new key pair. For further verification, let's log in as root user. Then list the disk, and then list the slash temp directory. There we go. We can see the test files directory. Listing the test files directory. we can see the files inside it okay guys this is how we can connect to an ec2 instance even if we lost the authentication key file or the dot pem file that's it for this video i hope the video was useful to you please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching see you in other videos till then have a nice time goodbye